societies, communities, cities are living, breathing entities. They're ever evolving, they're ever reacting. This is where the phrase VR Bangalore or VR Surat or VR Chennai comes in as well. It's a play on WARE because we want this to be a reflection of that community or society. Each one of our centers, they're organic entities. They're made up of the people who experience them. They need to resonate with the people who surround them. Customer trends globally are moving very rapidly and we're looking to work with partners who can understand those consumer trends. Virtuous Retail is a great example of a partner for that journey for us. This is our first store here in Bangalore. What we see here is an amazing example of a progressive real estate developer. Whitefield has a rich and varied history and heritage, which is both distinct from Bangaluru's, but is very much part of Bangaluru's heritage and history as well. So we've used that little slice of history to try and, within the overall development, create subspaces like the Whitefield Arms, which is a very English pub and a microbrewery. Winston Churchill came and stayed in one of the hotels, which was called the Waverley Inn, and which still exists in Bangalore. So we took inspiration from that, and that was the design philosophy behind the Waverley. Waverly is not designed as a hotel. Whoever you are, whatever makes you take, I think you can customize your own experience. Whitefield is an entrepreneurial bowl, if I can call it. Many of them can't afford large offices, so we are giving them A-grade office space with a lot of facilities and amenities and an ecosystem where multiple people can come together and feed off each other, very much like a beehive, where the bees work together in creating, uh, you know, something very sweet. We have nine elevators going up to our rooftop in Bangalore. It's a multi-purpose event space. It is a fitness place in the mornings. There's a swimming pool, but it's also in the evenings it transforms into a bar and a lounge on one end and into a multi-purpose event place on the other end. So I think these are some of the, the things that one can do to make your development a little more unique. The Tri Fitness Club is the first group exercise driven fitness club in the country. When you're working out in a group, you make new friends and that itself starts building a community right there. Virtuous retail is a very different concept. They are a space that's, again, very community driven. And that's the reason we thought this was the perfect, you know, combination to be inside Virtuous Retail. We bring a Café Noir as well as a French bistro where people can have a coffee, croissant. Toscano is position itself a little bit serious lunch, people who want to have a nice dinner with a glass of wine. So it was our first experience in the white field. So we're offering a different segment to different people. A successful retail center has three things. So first there is great hardware, that means the box has to be built in a particular way. Then you need very, very good software, which is center owner and the brands are co-partners in this retail journey. And then there is a soul, which comes through a bit of character. And India has so much rich history, but very often these new boxes build very well, they don't pick up from that history. So I think it's a great combination of lovely hardware, a great partnership software and a powerful soul. I believe that we have really tried to not only future-proof these centers, but move the needle on what retail developments can be and should be anywhere in the world. At Virtuous Retail, we're very proud of that. <laughs>